this is KV5R and today I'm going to unbox an Asus GeForce GT 620 video card and this is a real unboxing I just got this in this package and then we'll be installing and testing it this is a fairly low power card. I think it requires about 30 watts from the PCI eBus because I'm putting it in a very small computer that I can't upgrade the power supply. Oh, that's pretty. I just hope it fits in there because it's a two slot board and the top slot is right against the case. So we'll see whether that's going to fit in an Acer AX3910 slimline computer. And it just says, put in the card, connect the device, install the driver. And then you go to the next language. So, couldn't be simpler. And there's the little card. Low profile. Nice heat sink. That's, that's not just rough aluminum. It looks like it's uh, anodized and painted or something. It's nice and smooth. One thing I do wish that ASUS would do is give you the height from the, from the slot to the height of this heat sink in millimeters because people are going to put these in real small computers like I'm about to do and that dimension is just impossible to find online and it is important. Okay, I was just editing this video and realized that I raised a question that I didn't answer that I could have so I shut down open the computer, pull the card, and decided to measure the height of this Asus heat sink with the trusty dial caliper. And it is 0.855 just under 22 millimeters. Now, put on the low profile bracket need the 3 16th nut driver so you have those two 3 16th studs at the DVI port and one little screw there by the HDMI port it is number one Phillips Okay, now let's prepare the computer and see if it'll fit in there. Okay, now this little case, which is more like an HTPC, it's not a gaming machine and I'm not a gamer, but I do use PowerDirector for editing videos and I need a little bit of GPU in the machine so that uh, Power Director can use it. And uh, so that's why I'm putting a video card in it. Otherwise, the onboard Intel video is fine for everything else I do. Um, it has uh, two slots only. It's a, it's a cut down micro ATX motherboard. It's mounted inverted so that the slots are on the top. And they have a vent right here in the top four video cards and one X16 slot. And now the question is, will this beautiful ASUS heatsink fit in between this top slot and the case? So let's just drop it in. So there's about three millimeters of clearance that card will fit in this case. And you can 
say you heard it here first and only because I couldn't find anywhere online where anyone could tell me if this card would fit in this case or not and looking at the pictures that heat sink looks like it just might be a little too tall for this case but no it's it's right there that's going to just work great and pushing the button that's Primary video PCIe onboard graphics controller set that to disable and F10 save and exit and let it boot to the new card. Oh, look at this. It has graphs. It has tweakable things. I'll just do a couple of close-up takes here for anyone who's going to install one of these in one of these little Acer computers. You can just see the card in the topmost slot. You can see the heat sink is sitting just about a millimeter or two under the top vent. Now I'll just put it back together and start enjoying it. Okay, I just installed the Asus GeForce GT 620 and the software installation took a few minutes and it was completely flawless. It put Asus GPU tweak up on the screen. I can monitor everything about the card here and change the clock settings over here. I'm going to leave it all default and really give it a workout. I am recording the screen with Blueberry Flashback Express and that's fairly GPU intensive and then to push it Going to run Cyberlink Power Director 10 and bring a 13 megabit per second video into it. Let's try that one. Now let's put that on the timeline. Let's check to make sure that Power Director is using the GPU. Yes. And then we'll see about playing this. Let's test and see how responsive we are to shuttle and jog with the Shuttle Express frame by frame. You can watch the frame count right there. And I'm spinning the wheel. There's a little stutter and lag. Not bad, and it hasn't crashed Power Director yet, like it used to on the other card. Now let's do some fast slewing this way and that way. Max it out. That's as fast as it'll slew second by second. And let's see what it's saying about itself. The GPU temperature is at 47. It hasn't even brought its fan up. It is in auto. 
processor is at 45 and speed fan is controlling it okay let's graph core 0 on the processor and graph the GPU temp as you can see when I was doing all of that slewing in that video the CPU peaked above 50 and the fan came up and the GPU has come up from 45 to about 47 all right let's put this puppy in full HD preview mode make it a lot bigger so it uses more pixels and run it Tell you what, do let's run that video in Power Director's full screen player. BB Flashback Express and running video in Power Director. Let's see what the GPU is doing. I don't understand why it's only like at 7 to 14 percent. Why doesn't it like go and really use it? Anyway, it's working real well. It's just it's just not giving me the numbers I expect on this graph here. I expected it to max that GPU out when running this, but that's going to work. That's going to make video editing a lot more fun, and that's why I bought the GT620 to put in this little computer. I'll be building this video with it in the same way as what you're seeing here. And now let's stop BB Flashback. So there you have it, the unboxing and installation of the Asus GeForce GT620 video card and software in this little Acer X3910 slimline computer. And I looked everywhere online and no one could say, is the 220 watt power supply enough for that card? Well, yes it is. Will the card fit in the little case? Well, yes it does. So, now you know. And if you like this video, please subscribe to see my other videos. And visit my website, kb5r.com. Thanks for watching.